Good morning, everybody. I am Chris, and we are doing a 55-minute full-body workout today with dumbbells and resistance bands. We're using the bands with the handles today, okay, so these kind, all right, and you only have uh, one section with them, actually. I did show you this before. Regina, <laughs> Regina has a new band in town, okay? These are like braided. Um, these are braided bands, okay, so they're a little bit thicker. Um, and they are t less likely to break. So there is a link in the description to these if you want to try these, but they're also quite heavy. So um, we have a warm up. We're going to go into some core and some abs. Okay. And then um, a lot of compound moves today, actually, all compound moves. So I will give options if you don't like to do compound moves. They are so great, though, for also working your core because you have to be really aware of your body when you do this, okay? Wet. Oh, you're all dirty. Dirty boy, let's cover you up. Hi, there he is. Look at this. Is this, is this ridiculous or what? Anyway, I think we're ready to work out. Are you? Let's get it started in here, DJ Kevy Kev. I thought that wasn't going to work. Okay. <laughs> so, circle back. Hey, Brenda. Kelly. Kelly. Good. He does look like Gizmo. Circle back. Good. Nice. Good morning, Donna, Paula, Heidi. Back. Good. There we go. Owner of a lonely heart. <laughs> good. It's not. Good, but it did sound like that. Good. Keep going. And down. Nice. Down. Awesome. Now hold it back and press right here. All right. Let's go. Good morning, Kim, Olga, Carla, Trudy Booty, Daniel, Cindy. Come on, come on, Sandy. Let's go. Good. Stay with it. Nice. Overhead. Let's go. Bring it up. Okay. Stay with it. Up. Good. Back to the front. For four, three, two. Overhead. Here he comes. In four, three, two. Two in the front. Two up. Two front. Two up. Now singles. Front. Good. So somebody asked in the comments over here, what's a vampire? I don't think I've discussed that in a while. So a vampire are people who come on the workouts live or not after parties. Okay. And never say anything. You hide in the shadows of the internet. You got up. Up. Now. Press back. Triceps. Triceps. Good. <laughs> this is the modification. Let's keep going. <laughs> so that's the modification. Keep going, keep going. Nice. Good. Give me four more. It's four. Three. Two. One more. Shoulder rolls. Take them back. Good morning, Liza. Good. Back. Back. All right. Now, shrug it up, shrug it up. Eight. <laughs> that was you, Kelly. Yeah, keep going. Good. Now, take the legs out wide, shoulders down. Turn the toes out. Come on down. Woo! Now look at the knees. Knees and toes pointing in the same direction. And notice that I'm not like this. Knees above your ankles. Let's pulse. Let's pulse. Good. We got Norway in the house. Let's go. Hey, Jen. Keep going. Okay, now arms out. Let's curl. Curl. And out. Good. Now look at what I'm not doing. Okay, I want you to flex. Control. Good. Control. Nice, good. Now, pulse them both. Pulse, 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 pulse. Good, keep going. Nice. Good morning, Kendra. Is it Taya or Taya? Keep going. Either way, I love that name. Good. Hold it. Now, circle, other way. Circle, take it down first. Circle. Circle, keep going. Good. And down. Good morning, Kathy Campbell. Good. Okay, we just want to start it warming up. Stay here. Annie. And three. Good. And two. One more. One. Take it down for two. And up. Good. Down. Good. Christy P in the house. Yay. Come on. And up. Good. And down. Good. Christy, I meant to text you all weekend. And then the weekend got turned to Monday. Doesn't that happen? Good. And up. One more of these. Down. And up. Hold it right there. Release a twist. Release a twist. Good. Okay. Keep going. 
Now, what I want you to do are heel taps. Bring your hands together while you do your heel taps and roll. Roll your wrist. Okay, roll them like this. Good, good. Because our first move is a plank. Okay, roll the wrists the other way. Good, warm it up. Warm it up. Chris, go on. Nice. Good, shake it out, shake it out. Shake it out. Everybody do this. Make that face too. Okay, okay. Like, this moment's nuts. Okay, so your first segment, okay, this does warm you up a little bit. We're gonna do a bird dog first. The first five moves are one minute each. We do not repeat these, okay? So, first move, now that I have my mat back, nice and easy. We're gonna be doing bird dog alternating. A nice way to warm up the back and the core, okay? So abs are strong, ready? Here we go. So alternate, left arm, right leg, and switch. You don't have to do this with a B, I'd prefer you don't. So if you have to do a B, you can do two and two, right Chuck? Up, if you want. Now, let's talk about this. Your knees are under your hips. You're not like this, okay? Because that doesn't feel good, right? You want to be nice and supported here. Your hands under your shoulders. It's the opposite arm and opposite leg, okay? I mean, you can do it the other way, but that's, you'll probably fall over, Joni. Keep going, I love you, Joni. Keep going, come on, Janet. Keep good, good. Now, think about your arm reaching to the wall in front of you and the leg reaching to the wall behind you. Good, good, take it up, and down, good, up, and down, awesome, try not to arch your back, you reach, good, nice warm up here, up, and down, perfect, and stop, next move, option is just to do a plank, tapping your knees, okay, that's option one, option two, up in a plank, shoulder tap, Shoulder tap, knee in, knee in. Choose what works for you. You ready? Here we go. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. Good. Shoulder, try to stay stable in the center. And also, again, you want those hands under your shoulders, okay? Try not to lock your elbows. You just want a teeny tiny bend. That way you are working the upper body, shoulders, right? Biceps, triceps. Good. Do your best. So what if you're 10 seconds in and you're like, but I can't. Well, you did 10 seconds, right? You keep trying. You jump back in. You keep going, right? Good. Good. No, I can't stop thinking of time wasted. Keep going. Good. <laughs> if you're enjoying your time wasted, it's not wasted time, right? <laughs> Good. Come on. Good. Whew. And stop. Whew. All right. Coming down to your back. You're going to go with a straight, sorry, knee slightly bent. Okay, so your legs are out. Hand behind your head. You're going to go knee toward the inner arm and then legs straight. So it's gonna go in and straight. All one side. 60 seconds, here we go. Up, so Kev, here's, here's a challenge for you. Can you bring the BPM to 125? It's that weird app. Cross, good, and up, good. So you're crossing elbow to the sky and then reach up, good, good. My head is supported by my other hand. Good, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Good, keep going. Did you get it, Kev? Yeah! Good. Because I, that's, I, I'll tell you later. Remind me. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Because that's the one I can use. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, no? Good. Does that make sense? Keep going, good. Get that shoulder up. Remember, you are crossing and lifting from your middle, not pulling on your head. Good. Uh, nice. So I like to get that core nice and warm before we do everything else. So you know where it is for the rest of the workout. Oh boy. And stop. Ready for the other leg. Getting right to it. <laughs> and, and go. Here we go. Cross. Good. Somebody saw that. Right, Lou? Oh, good. And 
Woo, good. Cross it. And up. Awesome. Keep going. Cross. And lift. Good morning, Michelle. Good. Debbie Murphy. Good. <laughs> you still feeling Friday, Debbie Murphy? Sorry. Sorry. Come on. And up. Nice. Keep going. Cross. And lift. Good. Cross. And lift. You don't have to do this with a beat, but I also don't want you to do it too fast. I want you to make sure that you're feeling your abs working here. Let's go. Let's go. Get in there. Come on. And up. Good. Come on. One more. One more. Stop. Okay. Rock yourself up. Hey, bud. Okay. You're going <laughs> to be so cute. Okay. Actually, I'll show you from this angle. Let's go here. Okay. So, uh, can you see it like right there? Sit. Okay. So, you're going to be on your elbows. Okay. Option one is just to work on bringing one leg down at a time. Okay. But option two, the harder one, is going to be circles. Alternating. So, V sit circle. And just make your way around the dog. Okay, ready for one minute? And here we go. One minute. One minute. One minute. Kev. Kev. Ready? And go. Go. <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> he fell asleep over there. I'm kidding. Keep going. So you circle. Try not to arch your back. Squeeze the legs together. Good. Come on. Sorry. He got a very important phone call. Good. Keep going. Uh, good. <laughs> Are you my little love nugget? <laughs> good. <laughs> Come on. Uh, good. Try not to arch in the back. I want you to think about those abs. You should feel them now. Good. Woo, let's go. <laughs> Ronnie. I taught Ronnie. We went to dinner the other night. I taught Ronnie, my mother-in-law. How to do wall sets with the ball squats. <laughs> Good. I, I'm gonna have to make her a video. What do you guys think <laughs> of all the exercises she could do with the ball? All right, you got one more, guys. One more. We're going all the way around, Jenna. And stop. <sighs> okay. Excellent. Moving on to segment two. We're gonna do chest and hamstrings. You're gonna need dumbbells for this. Okay. So the first move is a chest press with a glute bridge, it's both arms, both legs, okay? Now, so I'm gonna use 30 pounds for that, 45 seconds. I'm gonna pull out my 25s as my, uh-oh, I can't do that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have my 22s out for the unilateral move where we do one arm at a time, okay? These are gonna be 45 seconds each, okay? And we're gonna repeat them twice. So I'm starting with my 30s. You don't have to do 30, but you do want to do heavier than you would for biceps or triceps. So if you do 10 for biceps, triceps, you should be doing 12, 15, 12, something like that, heavier for chest, okay? So we're going down, elbows wide, feet flat. We're gonna do a chest press, two up, two down with a glute bridge. It's gonna be 45 seconds. And here we go. So you're gonna go up and down. So I'm gonna go just a little slower than this two and two because my weight is pretty heavy. Okay, and I want to make sure that I'm doing this with really good form. Knuckles to the sky. Good. Good. Keep going. Excellent. Come on, Miss Donna. Good. I should just use Louie's butt as a pillow. Good. <laughs> he was using my shoulder as a pillow last night. Keep going. Come on. Down. Keep going. Keep going. And stop. Okay, so now you're gonna lighten up because you're gonna do this with one arm. So I'm gonna use a 22, okay? So I'm gonna do left leg crossed over and held, okay? And then right arm up. So from here, I'm doing a super slow chest press and then back up, but I'm doing an ISO in my hamstrings. This is going to be 45 seconds, super slow, four down, four up. Here we go. Now, if you can't do one leg and back up, if you can't do one leg, 
just keep both legs down to your right, two, three, and up. All right, now, I like to keep my hand open, fingers toward the sky, okay? That way I'm not bending back in my wrist. When you come down, your elbow makes a 90 degree angle. You almost touch the floor and then you come back up, okay? Nice, keep going. Okay, Amanda, good. Keep going, and down, two, good. One more on this side, and stop, nice, good. So we're switching sides, okay? Now remember, when you get through these, you wanna see how you're gonna feel on the second round, because there are two rounds of this, okay? I like my hand on my hip, if it feels better, you can put your arm out to the side. Four, slow down, four up, here we go. Four, come on, Jim and Marta. And uh, nice, push to the sky. Good, get a nice isometric in your hamstrings there. Okay, and again, if you don't wanna do this with one leg, you can do it with both feet down. What does it do to have one leg on here? Works your core, okay, so it works your core. Gives you an isometric, which means you're holding the muscle in a contracted position, okay, in the hamstrings. And if you have that nice heavy weight in that left hand, right, you don't want to let yourself fall to the side. If you're falling to the side, you're not using your core to hold yourself up, okay? Just got to work on that core a little bit more. Good, keep going. And down, and stop. Bring it down. Okay, shake it out because you're gonna do all of those again. I'm actually gonna move down to my 25s for the two arm press just because I felt like I was kind of losing form toward the end there and I'd rather, okay? Hi, Tracy. All right, good morning. We got a big group on this morning. All right, <laughs> Sarah, believe me. <laughs> I try to do that, but it is so much work to write all the moves in every description. Okay, so start at the top, we'll start at the top. 45 seconds, here we go. So we're going down at whatever pace feels good for you. Good, so you're doing the glute bridge. Good, and back down, nice. So your dumbbells come up and together so you're getting that nice squeeze through the chest muscles. Good, awesome, keep going, and down. Good, good. Okay, so uh, Aaron, is it better to have the feet flat or toes up during the bridges? Um, it's more functional to have the feet flat, okay? Right, because um, your feet are flat, right? Uh, when you walk around, right? So if you want to get a little more uh, and stop, okay? Um, there's not much difference to have the heel down with the toes up, so just keep the feet flat, okay? All right, so I'm going 22 again for my one arm. This time I'm gonna do my left arm first, just to change things up. So left leg is crossed over, is that right? No, right leg is crossed, left leg crossed over. Left arm, yes. Okay, start at the top. Okay, so left arm, we have four slow down. Here we go, real slow. Four, three, work in that core, back up. It was the other side, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So your right leg is crossed, your right leg is crossed. Good, two, three, and up. Up, two, three, again, down, two, good, take it up, two, awesome, keep it going, come on Debbie, up, two, three, again, up, woo, come on, come on, And up. Awesome, good. Take it down, switch legs. Left leg crossed over. We're gonna start at the top. I like my hand on my hip. You can bring your arm out if you want, whatever feels best for you. Starting at the top. We have a 45, you ready? Here we go, take it down, it's four. Three, real slow. All right. Now, that real slow motion, okay, you really have to be aware of the movement in your body here, okay? So if you're kind of one, if you're the kind of the type of person that would rather do it fast and swing around, this is probably going to feel pretty challenging to you because I want you to think while you're doing this really slow, where is the position of the arm? 
right? Where is the position? Right, right here, it's right above your shoulder. When you bring it back down, it's at a 90 degree angle. Keep going. I'm sorry, and the, the, the glute bridge is an ISO. I'm sorry. And down, two, three, and good. I don't know if I did it like that on the other side. I think I did. Good, and stop. Sorry about that. Woo! All right. Segment two is done. Okay? Grab yourself a drink. We're gonna move to back and legs. So you're gonna grab water, not coffee, Carla. All right. So we're gonna go to a dead row, which is a cross between a deadlift and a row. Okay, it's a combo move. I'm gonna use 22 and a half for these. Where are they? Let me get the other one. Okay, so 22 and a half. They're here somewhere. <laughs> All right, oh, there it is. So, what you're gonna do, hip width apart, weights by your side, you're gonna go to your knees. Okay, with a flat back. From there, squeeze your shoulder blades together, back down, and then stand up. Let me show you what it's not real quick. It's not this. Okay, you see what I'm doing? Watch, stop, row, stop, up. Very robotic, it's not, Okay. It's going to be 45, and then we're going to do low angled lunges with row. Okay, so get those glutes. Ah, Kelly, thank you, thank you. Okay, so dead row, abs are strong, pull your shoulders back, bend in half, 45, we're going down, row, down, and up. Good. Down, row. Yes, Erin, I think I'm ready to graduate from 20 to 25 for chest press. Oh yeah, that's right, good. And down, and up, good. When you bring the weights down, keep going, okay, in this, don't let it pull you like this. You wanna bring it down with a nice straight back and then come up, okay? So when you row, you don't wanna uh, row, okay? Keep it strong through that core, keep going. This song reminds me of, um, does anybody, <laughs> where's Lacey? Who remembers Lords of Acid? <laughs> Vanessa's like, what? <laughs> Good, and stop. Okay, next move, I'm gonna use 120 pound dumbbell, okay? So, you can give a close up, Kev, watch this. Left leg is forward, okay? Left leg is forward. You're on the back toes, and your back heel is up. Okay. What you're gonna do, straighten, and do you see how I'm still at this 45 degree angle? Then go down, then row, and down. So it's gonna be up, down, row, and down. 45 seconds, you guys ready? And here we go, Christy remembers. <laughs> row, and down, up, So up, down, you stay on the back toes the entire time. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. What? Kevin just asked if my shoes are high heels. Do you want them to be? Good, come on. Stop it. Good, can't stop it. Keep going. <laughs> Sorry. In this <laughs> Good, in this move, you're getting hamstrings, glutes, and upper back and core. Stop. We're switching sides. Yeah! <laughs> Trish, Trish just texted her husband. I'm gonna need some heavier weights. We're gonna need a bigger boat. You ready? Other side. Go up first. Here we go. So it's straight leg up and down and then row. Okay? So if you're feeling this in your lower back, here's probably the issue. Okay? This is probably the issue. The other thing you might be doing is this. We're not standing up straight. We are here. This is a lot of core work to keep you here. You see the difference? Watch this, watch. Up, right, versus. You don't want to come up all the way. You want to be 45 degrees. Good, keep going, and I'm sorry, stop. Okay, shake out your back. You're gonna do it again. Okay, you guys, one more set of all that. So, how'd you do on the dumbbells? Can you go heavier? Can you go lighter? You have to go lighter, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna do 25. 
I'm gonna do 25 for my dead row, because I think I can. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Paula, what if your balance won't let you do that? Um, then just do one arm rows, okay? Ready for the dead row? We got a 45 second. <laughs> Here we go. Dead row. Good. <laughs> well, there's two answers to that question, Paula. Paula says, what if your, oh, your balance won't let you do that? Right. Donna just answered it. Will you keep working on your balance, right? <laughs> Good. So that's a lot of core work there. Okay. Or you just do the one arm row. And I like this one a little better. I feel this a little bit more. And I'm still able to keep good form. You want to keep that row out of your neck. Good. Woo, let's go. And down, row, down, and stop. Good. <laughs> I'm from Jersey, yeah. All right, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Okay. <laughs> Central, Central Jersey. <laughs> okay, so start at the bottom, right leg forward. Ready? Up and down. Up, and then row. Good. How's my girl Christy P doing? Down, row. Good. So I'll tell you what, my balance isn't so great on these either. Here's a tip. Tip. If you're real wobbly, see how you can see both of my feet? If your foot is like this, or like even just, you're gonna be like on a balance beam. I want you to think you're more on train tracks, you know, the width of your hips, right? Rather than on a balance beam. So the foot should not be behind the other one, okay? Keep going. <laughs> I just did none on that side. And, <laughs> and stop, we'll go right to the other side, okay? Good. Yeah, Michelle, or try it with no weight. You can focus on your balance. Excellent, great. <laughs> Hashtag Jersey proud. <laughs> Ready for the other side? There we go. Up, down, uh, what's that? Kevin said. <laughs> well, stop. Kevin said, if you were proud, you'd still be there. Good. Come on. <laughs> we're congested in Jersey. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Woo. Good. Anymore. Good. Pull it up. Keep your core strong. Good, good, good. Let's go. Good, Sheila. Good, good, good. Good. And stop. Oh, yeah. Frankie says relax. <laughs> Frankie says, Louis says relax. Grab yourself a drink. We're going to go back to abs and core. Woo! All right. I also want you to remember, guys, it's still a good workout. There's things that people think. People think you have to be sweating like crazy for it to be a good workout. That is, I should put a graphic up here. Bing! Wrong. Okay. Also, um, if you're not doing cardio, you're not getting a good workout. Wrong. Okay, so I want you to remember these things. The other thing is, <laughs> people also think that if you lift heavy weights, you're going to turn into Arnold Schwarzenegger. I wish Nasty was here to say that. But, <laughs> but, but you won't, okay? All right, so we're going to your back. This is all one minute now, no repeat, okay? Hands can be down by your side, under your butt for a little bit of support. You can have your knees bent. You're gonna squeeze down two, up two. For one minute, here we go. Down, now some options here, now some options, okay? Down, alternate if you need to. The focus is not arching your back. Now, say you have a booty, okay? You guys have heard me say this before. Say you have a booty. You might have a slight natural arch in your back. Do the best just to keep it from arching more, okay? Okay? My sister, when we were kids, used to say, Chris, stop sticking your butt out. And I'd be like, I'm not. 
<laughs> you guys have heard me before say I used to I used to hate <laughs> used to hate the, the, the butt. <laughs> God. God, come on, God. squeeze those legs together. Keep going, you're almost there. God. <laughs> yeah, Kevin said you had to wait 30 years for it to be in. We had to wait for J Lo and Beyonce to make it in again. Okay, ready? Take it down. Hands down. You're gonna lift. Hip lifts. Ready? Here we go. So heels to the ceiling. Good. Imagine that you're balancing something on your heels. So if you're balancing something on your heels and you're doing this, it would fall, right? So this is not good. I want you to push to the sky, gently up and down. Can't do that? Lift up and down. Can't do that? Tilt the pelvis. I just gave you three options. Okay? Good. Keep going. <laughs> you have a huge caboose. A <laughs> huge caboose. Good. 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 You know, you have to remember, we're all, we all have different bodies, right? Right? Good. And one more. And stop. Okay. Weird one coming up. Come into your side. Left hand down, left leg down, hand behind. You're gonna crunch and back. Ready? Two in, two out, 60. You're going in and out. Don't pull on your head. Elbow comes down and back out. Here we go. In. Now if you really, if you're like, I can't do that, you could stack your feet and do lifts. Just make sure your hips are stacked. Okay? Good. I, I am on live finally. I'm not a vampire. It's just never when I'm live. Well, you could always say hi in the after party when you do your workout, but welcome to live. Who is that? Kelche? Kelche? Design? And out. Good. In. Keep going. Nice and slow. Almost there. Come on. One more. And stop. So Kelly said she wishes she could sell her caboose. You know what? <laughs> Love that caboose, baby. Ready? Here we go. And in. So here's something. I was thinking about this over the weekend, right? Um, you know, because I, I was reading somebody's comment that said, you know, somebody somebody used to say this about me. Not about me, but about them. Okay. And, you know, I was thinking about, like, when I get comments that people are, like, totally jerks, right? Up. <laughs> I'm like, when I think about it, you know, <laughs> people, so anybody who's making fun of someone's caboose or thick thighs or lack of a chest or big chest, right? Good. <laughs> right? Um, or whatever it is on a person. <laughs> They're the ones that look like the jerk, not you. Okay, so although those words might stick with you and you feel like, oh my gosh, this person just said something terrible, they're the one that's the jerk, right? They're the one with the problem. Stop. Okay, not you. So we're going to go to, on your hands, we have one more here, okay? You're going to cross your knees slowly in a, in a plank, or you could just hold plank on your forearms. Okay, last one here. <laughs> and here we go. Cross and back. And back. Good. Good. Yes. Good. Whew. And also, here's another, another little tip for you. Keep going. Don't talk to yourself 
with those words like, oh, you're too this, you're too that, you're too skinny, you're too fat, your butt is too big. Don't talk to yourself like that because there's plenty of other people that will do it for you, right? <laughs> and <laughs> would you talk to someone that way? No. So stop talking to yourself that way. Good. All right? Good. We all do the best we can to be the best we can every day. So why talk to yourself with negative words, right? Good. And stop. Oh, yes. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> grab a drink and your bands. Okay, grab a drink and your bands. What am I doing? <laughs> My water's over here. All right. Liam popped on just the right time. <laughs> this is not Stanley. <laughs> no. <laughs> My water bottle's name is not Stanley. It's Stephanie. <laughs> All right. Although, I should... Oh, I need the picture of Stanley Roper. So, what we're going to do... Band is going to go under your feet. And you're going to lay all the way down. Now, for some of you guys with really light bands, you might have to wrap it around your feet a couple times to get a little more resistance. But make sure that it's really on your feet. Give a close up. Okay. Elbows on the floor. You're gonna go up and down. Watch my wrists. They do not do this. That's why people's wrists hurt when they do bands. Okay, so you're gonna go up, elbows stay up, back of the arms stay on the floor, and then down. Okay, just to where you have tension, no droop in the band. Okay, you know, let's do two up, two down. Ready? 45. Here we go. Up, up, down. Again. So, right now, most of you can probably feel that most of you have handles on your bands that should roll a little bit. Keep rolling, 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 right? Keep the back of your arms down. Keep going. Back and up. So although you might not feel you have as big a range of motion, you're gonna feel those biceps up. Good, because you're keeping good form there. Come on. Good. <laughs> Gravity is becoming your best friend and you're okay with that? Good. 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 Oh, that's wonderful, Ingrid. I love that, keep going. Good. Bye, Liam, have a good day, buddy. And stop. Okay, so, breather. We're gonna do that again. So this round, we're gonna do two in a row. Okay, then we're gonna do two other things in a row or two other things. So that way we don't have to keep changing up the band, otherwise it takes too much time. Okay, so this time though, I want you to pulse these up. So same position, we're gonna pulse. 45 seconds, ready, here we go. And up, 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 good. Mm. Hey biceps, hey Barbie, come on. And lift, oh, oh, these are special bands, Regina. Regina always sends the special bands. Keep going. <laughs> By the way, these are not the Regina bands. These are Regina band 2.0. Come on. Good. Good. Oh my God. I hate you, Regina. Keep going up. If you have to slow down, that's okay. I'm going to slow them down a little bit. You should really be feeling those biceps. Is it tank top day or what? <laughs> come on. Mm. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Stop. Oh. Mm. I want to say bad words right now. Okay. All right. So you guys know this one. Close up. I don't know how close up it is. Band. 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 Handle. Handle on your left foot. Wedge it on that left foot. You know these. And then bring it into the center. Okay. Wedge it on that left foot. Okay. Other side of it, wrap it around your other foot, okay? Handle one foot, wrap. Handle on your left foot, wrap on your right. Handle on your left foot, wrap on your right, okay? <laughs> okay, so then you're gonna lay down, okay? Now, this is very easy, okay? So I'm gonna tighten it up around my right foot, okay? So that means I want more tension that I could do my leg extension, okay? So I can feel, this is the only thing so far that's been not fun. Okay, so in all the moves of the big one. So you have to kind of feel it out. On the first set, maybe you try it light and then bring it up. Make sure that right foot is down. Left leg is up, put your hand right on your thigh. 
you're gonna extend up and down. This is gonna be 45 seconds. You ready? Left leg is extending. Left leg extends. And down. Good. Extend. Now, when, see how my, my hand is on my thigh? Because number one, I want to keep my thigh from going back and forth like this. I don't want it to be back and forth from the hip. I want to keep my knee straight up toward the sky. Okay? Also, you should be able to feel those quads, right? I don't mean just feel the muscle working. I mean, you're actually with your hand touching the muscle that's working. Good. Good. Come on. Keep going. Oh. Nice. Your foot is flexed. Again. Okay, stop. Now, if you felt like that was easy, you need to tighten this so make there be less band between the two feet. Okay, so we're going to stay on the same side. Tighten your band if you need to or loosen it if you were like, oh no. <laughs> These shoes are weird. My like, band is sticking to it. Well, I guess it's better that the band sticks to the bottom. We're going singles this time. Flex the foot, ready? Here we go, singles. Up and down. It's one of my favorite moves. And up and down. You can go slower if you want. Keep going. Hey, Natasha, strength queen. Where you been? Good. Keep going. Up. Good. Good. Up. Keep going. Excellent. Stay with it. Up. Good. You're almost there. Ten seconds. Come on. I love these. <laughs> Stop. <Woo! laughs> All right, take it off. Well, that, that was my Brett Michaels impersonation. <laughs> Last week was Ric Flair. What's the theme this week, Regina? <laughs> Take it off, listen, listen. Handle, right foot. Handle on your right foot, handle on your right foot. Okay, handle on your right foot. Band wrapped around, wrap around your left foot, wrap around your left foot. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry Kevin's shaking his head at me. <laughs> and Steve came up, Oh, Steve. Ready? Two and two. Up and down, Chuck. Let's go. So already, I feel like okay. Let me make this a little tighter. Keep going. Uh huh. And down. Good. Keep going. Up and down. Excellent. So this is the only uh, segment that we're gonna do that's like this, where we do the two moves in a row, just because it's easier than having to take the band off and put it back. Yeah, put it on. Good. <laughs> All the single legs. All the single legs. Come on. Keep going. And up. Woo, come on. Up. And down. Go. Up. Down. Stay with it. I was waiting for sugar, honey. Yeah, and then stop. Okay, I'm going to make it a little heavier again because it is feeling... My, this is my stronger leg. But you want to try to make sure it feels pretty challenging. But not so much that you can't extend your leg. Okay, you want to make sure you have it, you can extend your leg all the way. That's going to be tight. Okay, so you're not going to feel that out. Ready? Singles. Here we go. Up. Good. Up. I have this wrapped wrong. And up. Good. Good. There we go. Is your right leg extending. Good. Up. All right, Kelly. Kelly asked about Wendy Williams. A little while ago. Did not see that. We should watch that. Up. The Wendy Williams special. Up. Keep going. Up. I know that was a while ago, Kelly. <laughs> I was in the middle of something and I was like, Wendy Williams, I'll come back to that. I can't believe I remembered to come back to it. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Ooh. And stop. Oh, yes. Good. Take it off. Woo. All right. Woo. <laughs> All right, man, these bands are something special. All right. Oh, Rebecca, time for new ones. There's a link in the description. <laughs> 
Get these ones with the braids, Rebecca. They're really awesome. They, they definitely don't feel like they're gonna break. Okay, so I'm lightening up everything here. Let me just put, a, I'm gonna put away my 30s because obviously I'm not gonna use them. All right, triceps, abs, shoulders. All together. Big compound moves coming up. So I'm gonna have 12s, eights, 12s and eights, <laughs> stuff like that. Okay, so. So here's a good, forget who asked, Aaron asked this. Aaron asked this, okay? So before you were asking about glute bridge on your toes or on your heels, right? So we're gonna do it on the toes here because we're gonna lift the foot, okay? And lift the foot because we're working core, which gives you less, um, uh, like a, bit, a, a smaller base of support. So it makes you balance more. If you have really horrible balance or you have trouble balancing, you're gonna do this with the feet down. There's another uh, item here. One dumbbell up, okay? You're gonna bring it down to 90 degrees. When you bring your knee in, you're gonna skull crush it. Oh yeah, okay. I'm actually gonna go to 15 pounds, okay? Uh, now I'm gonna do 20. Okay, ready? So you're getting down. I'm gonna do 20 pounds. That's 10 pounds in each hand. Lift your hips, you're on your toes. Ready, slow, two up, two down. We're gonna go up, down. I'm going a little slower than that because I wanna focus on my form here. You keep those hips lifted, you're on your toes, or not, you can have your feet flat. Good. Up. Good, good. Keep going. And you can just do the skull crusher if you want. Good. The knees come into the chest. Excellent. Come on. Good. Oh, I like this mixture. <laughs> I only did like three of them when I was practicing, and now I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> come on. And up. And stop. Good. Good. 10 pounds. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm using my 12s here. I'm using my 12s. You can use one dumbbell at your chest. If you can't go overhead, don't. Watch. Okay, 45 seconds. You ready? Roll it down. Here we go. Good, good. Good. Good, keep going. Uh, yes, Kelly, the bands are on my Amazon page. There's a link in this description. I'm pretty sure I said that a couple times, did I? There's a, there's a link in the description, specifically these bands. Good, keep going. Good, keep going. Keep going. 10 more seconds. Wait, wait, Olga, you're not doing it now? <laughs> she's been on the whole time and she's not doing it? And stop, okay, Woo. All right, one dumbbell. It's an ISO, so I'm only gonna use one 12 pound. Okay, you have to do it lighter, you do, right? Coming back, you're holding it. You're holding it there, abs are strong. Knee in, I want you to bring your shin to the dumbbell. Ready, go. You have an ISO in the front raise here. Come on, Vanessa. You got this. Good. So you're not lifting up here. You're bringing your knee, your shin up for the dumbbell. Your arms should be shaking now. Come on. Good. 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 Keep going. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Everybody, you can do this. Come on. Uh, which one was a non-weight move, Nikki? The uh, overhead press? That's okay too, right? So if you're, the one move we did with the overhead press, uh, you can definitely do without weight just to get movement in the arms. Stop, oh! Oh, that was fun. Are you ready? Round two, okay? So we're going back to your skull crusher with the lead knee lifts, okay? I'm gonna stick to my 20, but I feel like I'm gonna be not happy about that, okay? Keep moving, that's right, Nikki. Whew. Okay. 
up. Further weight down to 90 degrees. Ready? Slowly, here we go. 45, up. And down. On this move, okay, the knee and the arms come nowhere near each other. Okay, so you just bring the arms up to straight above your shoulders. Okay, and the knee comes in, and that's lifting from the lower abs. A lot of core going on here. Okay, good. Stay with it. Good. I don't know what, Jen, Jen the Beast, when are you coming back? We need some Jen. Don't we need some Jen here? Come on. <laughs> and stop. Oh, good. Woo. Okay. So I'm gonna do it with two dumbbells this time to roll down and up, but I'm gonna do it with two eights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Fine. <laughs> I'll try to move to 12. I will. Ready for 45? Here we go. Four. Good. Nice and slow. So, like specifically, so Donna, Donna knows she can't do overhead press with weight, right? But if you're doing this movement and just doing it without weight, number one, you're still working your abs, you're still working your core, you're still working your abs, okay? Um, but you're doing the mo a movement that your shoulders can do, right? Um, but I want you to do it without weight because think about it. You are still going to be in your kitchen getting something from the top shelf. You are still going to be, right, doing things where you have to raise overhead. So just work on that mobility in the arms. Okay, so ready? One dumbbell in front or two. This is it, ready? Here we go. 45 man. Good. What did Jen say? I would love to come. My daughter is home this week. Okay, all right, that sounds good, Jen. Next week looks good. Come on. In. In. Good. Come on. Mm. Let's go. Good. Keep that in front. Your arms should be shaking, shaking. Come on. Snap in the fingers. Good. Good. Excellent, Nikki. Wonderful. Good. Good. Thanks, Allison. Allison. Come on. <laughs> Keep going. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. You know why I do that? Woo! It helps. Do it right now. Everybody go. Woo! See who comes in the room and says, what are you doing? And stop. Good. <laughs> Stretch it out. Good job. Stretch it out. Oh. Hold it right there. Good. Just hold it and relax. So, guys, we sold out Niagara Falls, which I'm super excited about. Uh, no more tickets left. By the way, once again, if someone says that they're selling tickets, they are not. You cannot transfer the tickets. You cannot sell your tickets. Um, just so you know, because I saw that on uh, Facebook. Bring your left leg up. The only way to get tickets is through the website, but they're sold out. So, roll out your ankle for me. Okay. The funny thing was, though, that once I marked it as sold out, all of a sudden I got like 10 emails. People being like, can you put me on a wait list? I'm like, well, what were you waiting for before? <laughs> Good. Hold right there. And switch legs. Ah, hold. Woo! Gotta get on that. Right? Good. Ah. <laughs> you like that, Laura? <laughs> little sneaky Eddie Money reference. What's this? Uh, Rob Zombie? No, it's not, but it sounds like it. Yeah, it sounds like, never gonna stop, yeah! <laughs> right, doesn't it? Good, come up. Woo! Good. Okay, cross your ankles. Actually, no, let's bring the legs out. Reach it over. Reach it over. Good. Hold it. Stretch. All right, so also, by the way, on, on Saturday morning, uh, Dawn and I were wearing shirts that she made that said, it was the C. Dorna Fitness logo, and on the back it said, subscribe, okay? You can see your subscribe date if you go to your YouTube account, like when you subscribe to my channel. Um... So she made, Dawn made those for us. She made them for a bunch of us, right? And I don't know if you know this, but on my merch store, if you go to my website at the top where it says merch, I think it says merch or merchandise, or actually there's a link in the description for Cedar Warner Fitness Gear. You can customize your shirt. So there's shirts that um, C. 
say, you know, it has a logo on the front and on the back they say backup dancer. And there's a little edit button underneath the picture and you can add your name. So if you wanted to write, you know, Honey Boo Boo or Trudy Booty or my favorite Canadian, right? <laughs> you can, right? You can do that. You, whatever. Chris's biggest fan, the vampire staff, whatever. You can also write the date you subscribe. So you know you can do that. It's pretty cool. Uh, Paula does that all the time. She puts her point of Paula on the back of the shirt for the shooters. I love it. Erica, I've been doing your workouts for a month now, and I see such a... I can't see the rest of it. Difference. Okay, in my body. This one felt great. Definitely going to feel tomorrow. Excellent. I love that, Erica. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, good. Take it down right here. Oh, Olga, you're making you you're making YouTube a better place. We all are making YouTube a better place. Right? I hope. <laughs> good. Up on the side. So what was my idea? Should I pitch my idea? I'm not gonna pitch it. My sci-fi movie idea. <laughs> Everybody's like, yes, pitch the idea. No, you're not hearing it. You might steal it. And then it'll be in the movies. Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio as the, as the star. And I'm like, that's my movie. <laughs> right hand behind your back. Good. Little drop over here. <laughs> oh, Jackie. Good. Um, I should do a, um, I should do a stretch after yard work. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so happy the distracted commentary helps you. Some people don't like it, and I'm like, hey, she eats their own. Right, Regina? <laughs> Good. Take it up. Big breath in. Hands together to your heart. Awesome job. Awesome job today. Thank you so much. When this video comes back up, please, please go ahead and hit that like button, share, subscribe, and thank you so much, everybody. Wait, I don't have... I don't have um, Louie, but I have <laughs> Lammy. I've got his girlfriend here. All right. Enjoy your day, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>